Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. It's a pleasure and an honor to be with you today. Thanks for joining me. Now, if you want to make your life a whole lot easier in the backcountry or in a survival situation, you might want to add a great folding saw to your kit. So today we're going to have a survival saw showdown. Take a look at six of the best folding saws that I tested and used in survival training and up here on the mountain. Okay, we've got a lot of wood to saw, so let's get started. So today we're gonna to take a look at six folding saws, two large, two medium, and two small in size for survival and bushcraft, including the Bob Doostrid, Quick Buck Saw, Silky Big Boy, Baco Laplander, Silky Pocket Boy, and the Leatherman Wave and Super Tool multi-tool saws. Let's start with the Bob Doostrid Quick Buck Saw. When I began my quest for the best packable folding saw for building survival shelters and processing firewood in the backcountry, I was disappointed to find that most folding buck saw designs did not cut larger diameter trees because of their triangular design, which also limits the length of each stroke and the saw's cutting efficiency. Then I found the Bob Doostred Quick Saw, and I was intrigued by its simple, common sense design and massive cutting power. Now Bob saw comes in 21, 24, and 30 inch sizes, but I grabbed the 24 inch model with an extra blade and this rustic looking Kedora pack cloth case that holds and protects it all. Now to call Bob saw into action, we simply lift the arm toward the wood handle slightly to unlock the handle and blade. Then we slide the hardwood handle with blade out of the aluminum channel that becomes our saw frame. Next, we open up the three-piece aluminum channel just like this and insert the end of the saw blade with keeper bolt into the slots in the open end of the frame with the blade edge out and then slide the handle end fully into the other slot. See? Now pivot the handle until it locks in place just like this. One of the cool things about this saw design is how the blade automatically tensions up nice and tight. And that's it, no nuts or bolts to lose, which is nice. And this makes the tool able to be assembled with only one hand if needed. A Bob saw weighs only 17 ounces or about 480 grams, which makes fast work of cutting trees, good sized logs. Now the downside of this saw is that it takes a minute to assemble and put away. So it's not as convenient as a typical folding saw and it is a little longer than the height of most packs, so you'll probably need to strap it on. The longer size aside, this is an amazingly rugged, lightweight, portable tool that will help you save valuable calories, reduce sweating, and make processing large and small trees and logs much easier than any other packable cutting tool that I found. And around $50 to $60 US at the time of this review, the Bob Doostred Quick Buck Saw is a no-brainer for those who want extreme cutting power in the backcountry. Next we have the Japanese made Silky Big Boy Folding Saw, which I have affectionately named Super Silky. You'll see why in a minute. The Super Silky has a 14 inch or 360 millimeter replaceable two position blade and five teeth per inch for very quick cutting. And it retails for somewhere around 50 to $60 US at the time of this review. Now having been a landscaper for years, not a big fan of folding landscape style saws, they usually waste too many calories and frustrate more than they can help. But when I saw how well the silky saw worked at a recent survival training, my view changed. Now I think I've figured out the secret of the silky saws. I believe the secret's in the teeth. They have a unique pattern that cleans out chips and produces a cut that's wider than the blade, lowering the chance that the blade will bind and get stuck in the wood. This all makes for less work and faster cuts than I've seen with any other folding saws of this type. And the rubberized ergonomic handle makes this saw extremely comfortable for extended use. My Super Silky weighs just a hair less than Bob's Quick Buck Saw at 16 ounces or 450 grams and packs up quite a bit smaller with a length of about 16 inches or 41 centimeters versus Bob Saw at 25 inches or 60 centimeters in length. So the Super Silky does fit inside a variety of packs. Now obviously this large bladed saw is best suited for rough cutting work. Now it can perform some medium bushcraft tasks like cutting in notches and stuff like that. So we took the Super Silky out and put it up against Bob's saw. As you can see, 
The silky big boy performed exceptionally well against the Bob Deuster and Quicksaw and was beat out by just a few strokes. No, I don't know about you, but I'd take either one of these fine saws into the backcountry without hesitation. Next, let's look at two smaller folding saws, the Baco Laplander, and another silky saw, the Silky Pocket Boy. Let's start with the Laplander 396. The Swedish-made Laplander is a perennial favorite of bushcrafters and outdoorsmen and is carried by many of my survival and bushcraft friends. At around half the price, weight, and size of the Silky Big Boy, my Laplander has an 8-inch or 20-centimeter coated 7-teeth per inch blade that's large enough to cut through logs up to about 5 or 6 inches or 15 centimeters in diameter, yet is small enough to put in any pack or even carry in a pocket or pouch. And because of its finer teeth, the Laplander is a good all-around camp and bushcraft tool capable of doing finer and more precise cutting. Now comparable in power and versatility to the Laplander, yet in a smaller, more pocketable package is the little brother of the Silky Big Boy, the Silky Pocket Boy. My Pocket Boy has a 6 and 3 quarter inch or 170 millimeter 7 teeth per inch blade and carries on Silky's unique blade pattern which allows it to cut nearly as fast as the Baco Laplander even though the blade is shorter. The Pocket Boy is my personal favorite for smaller survival kits and pocket carry and has found a permanent home in my Lean and Mean Scout Survival Kit and Get Home Bag. Due to its smaller size, comfortable grip, lightweight, and cutting power for its size. Now here's the Pocket Boy cutting side by side with the Baco Laplander. Both did a great job cutting, but what's really surprising is how well the Silky Pocket Boy did against the larger Laplander, literally just two or three strokes behind. Now last but not least, there are times when a smaller saw is super helpful for fine bushcraft chores, like notching a bow drill fireboard. For my money, I can't find a better, more versatile, and complete multi-tool with a capable and durable mini saw blade for bushcraft than the Leatherman Wave and the Leatherman Super Tool. Besides having a great saw, both of these multi-tools have what you'll most likely need to craft the basics out of primitive materials in the field. I've carried my Leatherman Wave for nearly 13 years now, and I love its small size and lightweight, but the Super Tool does have an on punch tool that the Leatherman Wave does lack. So the Super Tool is my first choice now for bushcraft, but my second pick for everyday carry. But both have earned a place in my bug out bags and survival kits. We've just taken a look at six folding saws that could save your butt and help you rebuild civilization in a pinch. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side and remember, be prepared because you never know.